So we've been flying the Green Island landfill um, with our uh, DJI P4 RTK drone uh, since July last year. We did one and we've done three subsequent uh, one month apart surveys and we are looking at uh, this kind of data. We've been flying it at 400 feet above ground level, a uh, nice high altitude. Um, the resolution of the models that we've been getting have been repeatedly in the better than five and a half centimeter Z or height scale. Um, and the kind of detail that we're uh, getting uh, in order to do a topographical volumetric analysis uh, of the progressive changes in the landfill uh, have been more than enough resolution for us to deal quite confidently with them. Um, looking at the residual um, airspace that is left to be filled by waste um, as we uh, progress through the remaining life of the Green Island landfill. Um, here I'm looking at a 3D point cloud of the surface available in PIX4D. You can see me moving around. We also have a whole bunch of potential uh, metrics that we can add to the site. Um, we can draw our own uh, features that we want to take metrics of um, and calculate uh, areas and volumes. Um, at the moment, we're uh, just doing those discrete volumes within the model itself. Um, as well as that, uh, if I briefly switch over to the 2D view of this model, you'll see that we have some other um, overlays that the BIM platform is allowing us to do. Um, so here we have uh, the ortho image, which is the flat uh, projected vertical image of the ground. Uh, we can look at also the uh, elevation above ground. Um, we can mess around with that a little bit. At the moment, that is only showing us everything from, uh, I think, 5 metres above sea level to 27 metres above sea level. Um, so we keep the uh, information relatively um, confined to the area of interest. Um, as well as that, we've also done some overlays um, in GIS software uh, using uh, the topographical data produced by the PIXFLAT platform. Uh, where we can um, bring in things such as uh, the residual space available within the landfill. Uh, red is full up to the design consented surface. Blue has, in this particular instance, 14 meters, 13 meters uh, residual airspace vertically left. Um, and uh, of course, we can add uh, contours onto the existing information as well so that uh, we can see uh, not just a heat map of the space, but we can see the true ground level. Uh, and that true ground level is consistent and it's to datum. I think NZGD 2000, uh, New Zealand Vertical Datum 2016. Um, it's good data. It's excellent to kind of be able to visualize what's going on. Uh, and as well as that, of course, what we can do um, in the BIM platform is we can progressively switch between different surveys uh, and analyze uh, how the things look from uh, a day-to-day -day basis, uh, not a day-to-day -day basis, but certainly a month-to-month -month basis. In terms of time frame, um, it's taking us about uh, 24 hours to turn it around the survey from flying uh, to essentially seeing the kind of uh, final process that you have here, including some of the GIS imported overlays that we have. We're quite impressed that uh, we're managing to get that kind of a turnaround uh, from the PIX4D software and also from the skill sets that we're starting to develop with using it.